I'm a sucker for a macaw. It's okay. I know you're the, the bird whisperer. I love my well, little macaw. bunnies is your thing, but. Oh, I love my birds. <laughs> I'm not about my birds. Yeah. When I was, when I first got out of vet school, I wanted to do only birds. It's I really good. appreciate you taking no the time. No problem. Let me start with the films and we'll just get All a right. plan of what's broke, where it's broke. We've got some pain meds on board now, and we're gonna go ahead and take the radiographs on Brody. Fingers crossed that he's not gonna need surgery. Oh, honey. How old are they when they start getting their pretty feathers? Pretty young, six weeks. He's just a child. They grow incredibly fast. I mean, he's big. I think they're one of the few animals that get cuter as they get older. Come here, buddy. Breathing okay? Yeah, he's doing good. Oh, okay. I think I make my staff a little crazy because I'm always hyper vigilant. With exotic pets especially, they can die very quickly with no warning signs. All right, little bird. All right, let me show you. He's broken. That's the fracture. Now, honestly, looking at this fracture, it would be a completely legitimate choice and not a bad choice at all to manage him just in a figure eight bandage. Okay, really? it would, and wow. this is why. They heal incredibly quickly. Okay. Birds in general form calluses on broken bones incredibly fast. So if he's fine and it's staying in place, then we can you know, just recheck him at like seven to 10 days-ish. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. If I went ahead to do surgery, you're dealing with a tiny bone fragment at the top that's literally only this big. That's not a big enough piece of bone to get an effective number of pins in it. There is a possibility of causing more damage than good by trying to go in there surgically. Well, I'm really glad that the outcome is what it is. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, exactly. This, it's best, and it's not shortcutting me either. It's yeah. really not. If Man this was my own bird, I think this is what I would do, really. Right. I know that's cool. what I would do. I know if, if it's it, coming is... from you, yeah. I'm, I, I yeah. feel very confident. The outcome for Brody is probably going to be that he's not going to be able to fly, but he will be able to at least have this wing in a functional enough posture to be able to perch and not having it drooping and tripping over it. So I think he's destined for pretty decent life. Knowing that all we have to do is just keep the bandage on there, bring him in a couple days to get it checked out, and then go from there. I'm super happy with the outcome.